Today, we're going to talk about anxiety. We're going to look at it both from a Western perspective and an Eastern medicine perspective and give you a short Qigong routine for anxiety. Not for giving you anxiety, but to help you relieve anxiety. I'm going to show you a routine that's going to help really clear anxiety. It's going to be quick, effective, and it's going to bring you into a state of relaxation. So let's talk a little bit about anxiety first. You know, anxiety is the most common form of mental health disorders. Over 30% of adults have anxiety at any given time. The good news is that anxiety is definitely treatable and there's many, many different options. What I'm going to show you today is an option that you can do for yourself. It's a practice called Qigong. Qigong really means energy work. And what is anxiety? But some energy that's getting constricted, congested, or in Chinese medicine, it's called stagnation. The qi is stagnant. Just think about it this way. When you feel anxiety, where in your body do you feel it? Does it feel like a tension or a tightness in your chest? Is it a little harder to breathe? Do you breathe faster? Does it feel like a constriction in your solar plexus, in your belly? Do your neck and shoulders tighten up? Does all of that happen? Well, for example, anxiety often feels like tension in the chest, right? But if we did open chest surgery, we open the chest up and looked in your body, we're not going to see anything that's making you anxious. You feel it, but it's not there. This is something that we call energy or chi. The chi is blocked and we feel it. We call it an emotion. Emotion, emotion, energy in motion, energy movement. Emotions are very powerful, very powerful. But like I said, we can't open up the heart and see, hi, how much love do I have in there? Right? It's an energy. It's invisible. But yet it's a very powerful thing that seems to have big impact in our lives. Now, anxiety, for example, will have uh, an effect in your physiology. People that are going through anxiety seem to have a lower immune system. There's more tension and tightness in their bodies. There's going to be more cardiovascular issues. There's going to be headaches. There's going to be physical manifestation. So make no mistake, emotions are very powerful in their effect on our physiology. Let's look at anxiety again from a Western perspective. Come on over here to the whiteboard. We wrote some notes for you. Um, so anxiety is going to be a feeling of, of nervous tension. So it's a sensation, a feeling of being tense, of being nervous, of being restless. We all know what anxiety feels like. It's a very powerful emotion. Now, where does it come from? There's some sense of impending danger. Something's going to happen that I don't like. And anxiety, often we get a feeling of doom. Oh my gosh, what if X, Y, or Z happens? Now we get anxiety. So our minds are very powerful in that we can think about the future, but often when we think about the future, we think of all the negative things that might happen, and we tend to bring that back into the present moment. So we think of the impending danger and doom, and then we bring back nervousness, tension, and restlessness into our present moment, even though there's no danger right here, right now. So anxiety is a bit tricky because it's how our minds work. We feel a, a panic. Now, panic attacks can happen from chronic anxiety. Then that's when we feel our chest gets tight. Uh, we feel our bellies are constricted. And what happens in our bodies when we're going through anxiety, our heart rate's going to go up. So there is that phys physiological response. Your heart rate gets faster because you're in sympathetic mode. You're in stress mode. You're in fight or flight. So our breathing gets, gets more rapid, <sighs> stress, right? Something dangerous is about to happen, but most of the time, in fact, 99% of the time, the danger isn't here. So we're not gonna fight or flee. We're not gonna discharge this energy. We're just gonna hold it in. It's gonna create that tension in our bodies. And, and also it's something that happens in our mind. We get these intrusive thoughts, as the psychologists call it. And those are really hard to work with, right? It's all of a sudden, all of a sudden the mind is thinking about all the things that we don't want to happen. Who are, who is thinking the thoughts anyways? The thoughts just seem to bubble up and there they are. What if this, what if that? And all of a sudden now our, my chest is tight. So the treatment of anxiety is to work with your breathing and with your mind so that we start to put our mind in something else. For example, 
instead of thinking about all the things that you don't want to happen, think about a few things that you do want to happen. Think of few, about a few things that you were grateful for earlier today, yesterday. Just put your mind somewhere else and the body will start to respond and follow. The breath will slow down. We'll start to feel more comfortable. You know, chronic anxiety leads to fatigue and it leads to heart issues. You get palpitations in the heart and chest pain. So it's a very real problem that can lead to not only just mental, emotional uh, problems, but it also leads to physiological problems. You know, with anxiety comes also insomnia. I have a hard time sleeping. So we got to work with the mind and we got to work with the body. And by using both mind-body techniques, we can work with our anxiety, repattern it into something else so it doesn't creep up without us noticing because it is a pattern. All of a sudden, I start thinking about something, my breath changes, my ch chest tightens, and then it leads to a whole cascade of other symptoms. Now, let's look at it from a Chinese medicine perspective. So Chinese medicine perspective, we're going to say, where does this energy come from? Because in Chinese medicine, we're going to look at the energy. We're going to look at the emotional state. We recognize in Chinese medicine that the emotional energy is the root cause to physiological problems. So when we want to address somebody with cardiovascular issues or chest pain or insomnia, we're going to say, how's your anxiety? And they're going to talk about, well, yeah, I get anxious. Okay, let's treat the anxiety. And guess what? The chest pain, the, the, the stress, the insomnia, all of a sudden evaporate. We call it working on the root cause. So it's going to be coming from the energy of the heart. So we often say the heart chi is deficient. That means there's not enough or the heart chi is excess. There's too much. So and these can go hand in hand. For example, when we have too much stress, that would be excess. It wears on our energy and all of a sudden now we don't have enough energy to deal with life and we get overwhelmed because we're deficient now. And when we're deficient and overwhelmed, we get anxiety. So emotional stress will lead to anxiety. So chronic stress, now we get anxious, and then it develops into a physiological problem. So what we want to do is work on our energy, on the chi. And there'll be some very real tools and techniques to do that. So the chi will get stagnant. The stagnation of chi feels like discomfort. When the chi is flowing, we feel good. When the chi is stagnant, we feel pain, discomfort, agitation. And so whenever you're feeling agitated or anxious or stressed, notice where you feel it in your body and then take a slow, deep breath and then try to relax, relax your upper back and neck, relax the breath. And all of a sudden we start to feel a little better. So the energy blockage, the stagnation will lead to physical symptoms. Right. So emotional stress, chronic emotional stress will lead to anxiety, will lead to chest pain, will lead to cardiovascular issues. There's a whole cascade. So we want to address it right at the beginning. Now, in Chinese medicine, anxiety is one of the root causes of many different problems. So we're going to say when somebody comes in to see me as an acupuncturist or as a Qigong teacher and they say, I have anxiety, we're going to say, huh, wonder what the energy is doing. Are you sleeping okay? Are you uh, feeling anxiety at work or is it at home? And where in your body are you feeling? We start to be a detective on what the energy is doing so that we can unwind it, clear it, and get it to circulate. Because anxiety, as we said, was chi stagnation. Now, if we think of chi like water, when water isn't flowing, it gets stagnant. It gets unhealthy. And so what we want to do is to improve the circulation of water. We break up the dam in the river of energy and get that water to circulate because where there's flow, there's health and vitality. And so what I'm going to show you now is a routine to increase the flow of energy in your body so that you get it to circulate and you clear anxiety in a very natural way. The good news is that it really works. The bad news is that you got to do it. We don't have just a pill to take because we want you to do it for yourself because that is the most effective solution. It is uprooting the root cause of the problem. So let's do it. Let's all take a, a, a stance that's going to be about shoulder width and we're going to do about a 10 minute routine and you're going to love it. All right, get ready. All right, so take a stance that's about shoulder width. Just 
very slight bend in your knees. And let's do some breathing. This is a breath that's going to help to clear anxiety. Put one hand on your belly, one hand on your chest. And I want you to just breathe slowly through the nose. So inhale, start your breath here in your belly. And then let the breath rise up to your chest. And then exhale from your chest, down through your ribs and into your belly all the way out. Inhale, belly, up through the ribs, into your chest. Exhale through the nose. All the way out. Inhale, belly, ribs, chest. And whenever you're feeling a little anxious, this is a great breath to just come back to because anxiety leads to rapid breathing, which is a stress response. Slow breathing is a relaxation response. So come back to nice, slow, full breathing. Your breath is something you carry with you all the time, throughout the day, even when you're sleeping. So developing good breathing habit, habits really develops emotional equanimity. One more deep, slow breath. Exhale. All the way out. Good. Now, spinal cord breathing. Inhale. Exhale, round your back, tailbone tucks under. And inhale, open the chest, look up. Exhale, round the back, tailbone tucks under. Inhale, we're going to look up. You see, we do this deep breathing and we open the chest. And we move circulation and energy through the spine. You know, when we have anxiety, we want to discharge it through the body. So we breathe and we move in very specific ways to discharge the emotional energy. Inhale and open. Exhale, round the back. Feel all the joints in your spine moving. Put your mind into your body. You know, the mind is the cause of anxiety. Very often the mind is the cause of anxiety. So start to bring your mind into the present moment. Feel the way your spine articulates and moves. Notice your breathing. A nice deep breath. And then relax, and then relax. Very good. Now, let's tap right here. Often anxiety manifests as tension and tightness in the chest. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take one of those slow, deep breaths. And now I'm going to have you do the heart sound, which is like this. H-A-A-A-A-A. Take a nice deep breath through the nose. And make that sound. Like you're... It's like the sound is a re release valve. It's just clearing out pent up energy in the chest. Good, nice deep breath. One more time. Relax, put your hands down to your sides and just notice. Notice how your body feels. Feel that energy in the chest open. There's a buzzing and a tingling happening. That means your chi is circulating. Good. Now we're going to do a very easy, gentle flow. It's called cloudy hands. Cloudy hands is for the heart, both the physical heart and the emotional heart. And so what I'm going to have you do is bring both arms up like this. Drop your right arm down. I'm going to do your mirror image. So your right arm down, your left arm's up. Shift your weight to your left and then turn your hips left. Change the arms. So now right arm is up, left hand down. Shift the weight and turn. Very good. Shift the weight to the left. And shift the weight to the right. Now I'm going to have you inhale as you go to the left. And exhale as you go to the right. 
nice and slow and start to feel this lightness in your body, this relaxation, like the arms are just floating in the air. Your knees are slightly bent. Now we're going to pick up the pace. When you pick up the pace, I just want you to move faster. Let the arms stay nice and relaxed. And I want you to focus on that heart sound. I want you to go. And it's like it's just dispersing. The movement is dispersing any anxiety and emotional stress. Arms relax, still moving from your center. We're going to do it a few more times. Inhale. Just like the wind picked up and the clouds are moving across the sky. Now slow it down. Slow it down. I want you to go real slow and now just breathe through the nose. Inhale to the left. Exhale to the right. Go slowly and just bring in some inner peace. Bring in a light sense of joy. Bring in this positive energy into your heart. See, when we slow down our bodies and we slow down our breath, you slow down the mind and enter into the present moment. So think of cloudy hands as a moving meditation. And bring your hands down to your sides. Let's just notice how we feel. See if you can feel a little tingling, a little lightness, energy in your hands, a nice open feeling in your chest. Put both hands on your belly. Take a few centering breaths right here. Good, and relax, and relax. Wonderful. I really hope you enjoyed that. If you did, you can subscribe to the station because we have a lot more videos just like this on many different topics. Thanks so much for joining.